Hey all, I saw some confusion about generating and not generating, and I realized I may have made too aggressive a statement about not generating when you're opening a scene. So I wanna quickly explain what I meant by that. So here I am in City Engine, this is on the virtual machine. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click here at the bottom and open the task manager um, and look at performance. Um, you might have to expand the task manager, say show additional detail. But this just gives us a sense of what's going on. So the, the CPU, right, it's pretty intensely used. From a memory perspective, we're eating about half the RAM on the computer. And if we scroll down and we click on the GPU, we can see with City Engine open, right, we're almost eating the full gigabyte of our dedicated uh, graphics memory. And we have this four gigabyte uh, block of swap memory. Um, as we generate a scene, that memory is gonna get filled up. So what I've done is I've downloaded the 3D transects here. I'm gonna open the 3D transect scene and it's gonna prompt me and say, do I wanna generate? Now I'm gonna say yes. And so it's gonna go and you can see these shapes here, these little building footprints, the water, um, point locations for trees, etc. And it's gonna go in and actually generate using the rule 3D features on that. But as it generates, right, we can see there's increased usage. So now we have a little bit more of our swap memory used and we have a little bit more of our dedicated memory used. If we go back up to the RAM, right, it jumped, jumped from 4.8 gigs to 5.4 gigs. So as we generate a scene, it uses more and more memory. So my concern was is that you guys might run out of memory. So I was saying what you should do is instead of saying uh, generate, so I'm gonna reopen the scene, you say no, and then generate things step by step. So I can select this parcel here, for instance, right, and hit generate, and it will generate just what's on that parcel. I can select a little area here and hit generate, so I was sort of saying you could go through and if you're having memory problems, generate the scene bit by bit so you could see parts of it without having all of it. Now, what I'm noticing here is, and I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything and, and generate it again. This button generate here is at the top, generate. Um, this scene for the 3D transect is small enough that we're not actually having severe memory limits. Um, last term, our memory was limited to four gigabytes, so we, we were having much more performance impacts. But with eight gigabytes, we've got some space to, to, to work with here to generate our scene. One last thing is before you, before you start opening things, make sure you go up to the option here, manage Esri lib. Make sure everything is checked. So you want to download the latest library rules. You want to download all the 3D assets and click update. That'll, that'll make sure that you have these little tree models that are applied on the ground. Um, otherwise, you might get those uh, ghostly white boxes. Um, so sorry for the, I apologize for the confusion there. Um, I think probably with the RAM we now have on these machines, we should be okay. So go ahead and when it asks you to generate, select yes to start with. But if you then have severe performance uh, impacts, you can reopen the scene and choose no and only generate parts of it. One thing just just to briefly say, if, you're, if you are having performance, so let's say I'm panning around and all of a sudden this gets incredibly choppy um, because there's too much data in the scene. You can delete models that you've generated. So if I select these and they're outlined in blue, there's an option under shapes called delete models. And you wanna make sure you use delete models. You can't use the delete key that will actually delete the data itself. But deleting the models deletes the things that these, these shapes, these polygons are generating. And then again, you could go back in and just select a a couple if you wanted to see a couple and generate them. Once they're generated, you, you can click on them. You'll see them in the inspector here. Um, I noticed some people said they, they couldn't see the inspector. 
it could be that the inspector is closed. Um, so if you go up under window, click on window, there's an option here for inspector. You can also press Alt and I. And when you click that, the inspector should reappear usually on the right side. One other helpful hint, um, there's an option here for layouts, different kinds of layouts that we've predefined. So if you get, if you lose your scene, your navigator, whatever, sort of uh, make changes that you don't want to make, you can reset back to the default layout and it will always display the scene, the navigator, and the, expect, and the inspector when you do that. Hope this helps.